We're really excited to introduce the Native Share Dialog. The Native Share Dialog gives developers a very easy way to add sharing into their apps. And for people sharing using these apps, it's a much better experience. Let's walk through some of the benefits of using the Native Share Dialog. As mentioned, it's a much better way of sharing because it uses native code to implement the sharing. Users can also see a preview of what their sharing stories are going to look like. You just need a few lines of code as a developer to implement this, and you need to support iOS SDK 3.5 and above. With the share dialog, users do not have to have previously logged into your app, which opens up the possibility of sharing to a lot of apps which did not want to have Facebook login implemented because it's a pretty heavyweight implementation detail. With the shared dialog, you can enrich stories by allowing people to tag their friends and say where they are. There's also an audience privacy selector, which is available so that users can share the story with exactly who they want. The shared dialog also supports open graphs, so users can tell stories by sharing links or through custom actions and objects that you create or custom stories that you configure. Now you may be wondering how Native Share Dialog compares with other forms of sharing. The iOS share sheet was introduced as part of the iOS 6 integration with Facebook. With the Native Share Dialog, you get app attribution easily for your stories. People also have the ability to tag their friends in the stories. Open Graph is supported with the Native Share Dialog, and you do not need to have Facebook login for people to share stories using the Native Share Dialog. Now let's walk through the code that we're going to add to implement sharing. On your right, you have an iOS simulator with Facebook for iOS app installed. And on your left, we have an Xcode project. And in this project, we had previously set up the UI with two buttons. And one of the buttons, when clicked, will activate this share link action method. Let's walk down this method and see exactly what it does. So first, we set up the share dialog parameters. This includes information such as the link we're sharing. In the case of the link, if that link already has open graph tags attached to it, then you don't necessarily have to specify any additional parameters, but you're certainly free to do so. And in this example, we're specifying the picture, the name, the caption. And then the present share dialog with parameters is called in the FB Dialogs class and the parameters passed in. We've also set up a handler for any of the completion results. And in this case, we're actually either showing a success or an error. So let's go ahead and build the app and run it in the simulator. So when the apps run, you'll see a couple of links here. Share a link is the button that we're interested in right now. When you click on that share a link button, you're going to fast app switch to the Facebook for iOS app where the native share dialog is presented. People can then enter in a message. And alongside the message, people are also able to add friends. And in this case, I am going to add Prashant. People are also able to say where they were when this short story is shared. We're just going to go ahead and cancel out and not specify a place for this story. In addition to tagging people and places, users can also select an audience for the story. We're just going to keep this at only me. And finally, the story is shared and you get an alert message that it was posted successfully based on the completion handler. Now let's switch over to the Facebook app and see the story rendered. So once we go to Facebook, you see that the story gets generated there. And the other key thing is if you were to click on this link and you've set up your settings correctly, it would deep link back to your app. So that's how you implement link sharing. Now that we've shown you how you can implement link sharing using the share dialog, 
Let's go show you how you can tell Open Graph stories. So we have an additional method called share OG story action, which is triggered when the share Open Graph story button is pressed. First thing that's done is an action is created, which is an FP Open Graph action object. And then we set up a property of that action. In this case, the story we're going to tell is going to allow users to read a book. So the object we're setting up is a book of type books.book. We're also going to be creating this book on the fly, a user owned object. We'll set up a URL, which is primarily going to be used for deep linking purposes, and then other parameters that are needed to set up the book. Once we've set up that book object and attached it to the action, then we call the present share dialog with open graph action method on the FP dialogs class. We pass in the action that we had set up. Also key is the action type. So because the user is reading a book, we're going to be calling the books.read. In addition to that, we also have a preview property name book, which is needed to show the preview when the story is being generated. Finally, we can also set up a handler to handle any of the callbacks from the share native dialog. Let's go ahead and test it. When the user clicks on share an OG story, again, you fast app switch to the Facebook for iOS app where the user can enter in a message. And just like in link sharing, they can also add friends to the story. Along with friends, users are also able to select a place. Again, this allows for a much richer story and higher engagement. Finally, people are also able to select an audience for this story. Once it's done and the user clicks on the post, the object is created, the book object, and the story is published. Let's go ahead and check and see what this story looks like. We're going to switch to the Facebook for iOS app and check out my timeline. So what we expect is the story to be generated, and indeed, here you have it. We've got Christine Abernathy read A Game of Thrones on Share How To. That's my sample app, and you see the message there as well. So we showed you how you can use the native share dialog to share links as well as tell open graph stories. We hope that you'll find this feature useful and allow you to create even more awesome sharing experiences in your app. Thank you.